Thanks for sticking around with us at halftime here at the American Women's Basketball Championship. I'm Haley Outen. With its entire starting lineup back from last season, Memphis head coach Melissa McFerrin has relied heavily on her veteran leadership. But what has she done to help build the leadership skills of her players? She has implemented a 10-step plan that gets her players in the right mindset before hitting the hardwood each day. It's a mindset change and, and I refer to it a lot with our players that regardless of what goes on in our day, good or bad, that the last 10 steps before I hit the practice floor, I try to change my mindset, I try to be very positive, I try to go in with a smile on my face um, because I think that's what they deserve every day and I want to show them that um, we can be consistent every day with our, with our attitude, that we are truly in control of our own attitude regardless of circumstances. And while this is a process that works well for Coach McFerrin, it has also impacted and challenged her team to have the right mentality to be in the present while they're on the court. Um, it's great. She's going to push you. Um, she's been pushing me since I've stepped foot you know, in her court since freshman year. She's been pushing me. Um, this year she's been pushing me to be a better leader. I'm a better player on and off the court. So she's great. She's, she's a great challenger. Well, I, th I think they do. I think their greatest challenge is one when they're tired or two if it's an early morning. And I just joke with them. I say, hey, don't try, to, don't try to come in here and be crabby. You know, the whole country is up at 6 o'clock in the morning working out. So we've got to understand when, when duty calls, it's our job to, to jump forward and, and, and answer the call. She's a very good coach. She cares about us a lot. Um, and that shows on the court and off the court. Um, she's very passionate, uh, you know. When we're not doing something right, she'll tell us. Um, and I like that in the coach, to be honest, brutally honest with us. Um, she pushes us in every element of our life, school, on the court. So it's, it's a pleasure playing for her. And the reason these players put in the hard work each day to enjoy what they love most about the game. Right before the tip. Uh, that's my favorite part because that's when everything's kind of calm and before the chaos begins the game. Um, the fans are excited, ready for the game to start. Um, and you know, you kind of have this nervousness, but you're also anxious to, ready to get ready to start the game. So that's probably my favorite part. I think I like intense parts of the game when it's, you know, neck and neck, you know, a tight game, down by one, down by two, up by one, up by two. Um, you know, when I get a chance or the team gets a chance to make a play, make a big play, you know, get the crowd into the game. Those are my favorite parts of the game. Memphis has come up with some big wins this season, a victory over then number 15 USF earlier in the season, as well as an NCAA record tying five overtime win against Temple just a couple weeks ago. They have their eyes set on the postseason, but must take care of business this week first. Don't go anywhere, the second half is almost here. Enjoy the rest of the game, I'm Haley Outen.